my soul needed a savage friend, a weird daredevil, but do you mend my life? You came at it and thinks you got me on the wrong track. Fought the cancer in a colder sack. Lean says bite back. On life stacked racetrack we react, lacking the cool, but we lean and we lean. 안녕하세요, 저는 루입니다. 안녕하세요, 저는 리안입니다. So we are doing the, we delayed it a week, we apologize, but um, we are doing the long awaited shh from uh, Ayu. Yay! Yay! So the only thing I know about this is that it's got Hayen from uh, New Jeans, I think, that's it. And she's the maknae in New Jeans. Is she like only like 14 or 15 years old? She's really young. She's apparently really cute. So I think something she's like that. something like that. I think she's singing yeah. on it as well. I'm not sure. That's all we know about it. And from like the only other thing I know about this song is that you guys are saying that it uh, may have a number of different meanings or complexity in meaning. So like people are interested to hear what we think. So. The pressure's on, Lean. The pressure's on. We got this. We've always got this. <laughs> she says, while well, sweating. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, you're okay. ready then. I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm excited. Okay. Make sure the English subtitle's on. I just did. Okay. Coming closer. <laughs> closer, yeah, really like. Mm. Wait, pause. That's says she had her mother away. Pause. That's not IU. That's that. Oh, no, that's not IU. That's that actress. What's her name? Um, um, oh, uh, she's in the zombie one with the Tang Roman Wei. Up. Tang Wei. She's in Black Hat with Chris Hemsworth. Ah, uh, yeah. Tang Wei. She. There was some other show that I wanted to watch of hers. Something about like decision to leave or something. I think it's called Decision to Leave. That I'll actually have on my like to to be watched list. She's really good. She's more Hollywood now than. C drama. She's Chinese, I think. Hmm. Is she Chinese? Tang Wei. That sounds Chinese. like a Chinese name. Tang's a Chinese name. She's really famous, apparently. I saw, the only thing I know about her is I saw the making of Black Hat and they were talking about how amazing she was and how like dedicated she was to her role on set. And like she would be there even if she wasn't on set for the day, like playing in front of the camera, she would turn up on set just to watch the other actors and learn from them. So that's all I know about her. So that's for like Very a big name for IU to have. Well, IU's huge to have in her, her MV. So, okay, ready? Ready. There's IU. Here's IU. It's not about F, not about L. We got something else. Treat him with danger. Already, this is giving me the vibes. Do you remember the Beyonce collab she did with? Was it? It was either Lady Gaga or someone like Selena Gomez, where it was two girls that like were both rebels and they paired up and they're like go through the MV doing like weird stuff to like make money in that. They're like con artists. Yes, yes, I remember that one. Yeah, kind of. I think it's Lady you. Gaga. And Beyonce, this is giving me that feel that these two are going to pay it up because they're both from the, maybe the wrong side of the tracks or they're like, yeah, just, you know what I mean? People have had hard lives. Yeah, they look like they both got attitude as well. <laughs> so. We're like a classy, sassy queen. <laughs> right, you ready? Ready, so I'm dropping stuff. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. 
So, when our Western thinking, when she's saying it's not about F, it's not about L, though it's immediately making think of two of it. It's not about friendship, it's not about love. So, at first I thought they were friends, and then I was like, maybe they're more than friends. But then the pictures that are in the house make me think they might be related to each other. They feel like they might be kindred spirits, but you know that grey area where it's not friendship it's not love but it's definitely something like the, oh, the picture of the mother and child so i'm wondering if but like is Yang maybe they're like half Tang, sisters uh, is yeah maybe maybe it could be that because is tang Wei doesn't look old enough to be her mother but maybe she is her mother or her sister she could be an older sister they, See, like they have a feeling. loaded relationship I, I was getting the feeling it's about two girls that have walked similar hurt paths Could that have. have come together like kindred spirits and she's looking up to her as like someone that understands her, someone that feels the way she does mm. and she said it could be first love so she's not sure what she feels for her other than a really strong bond. Yeah. That's why I'm getting the feeling that it's like undefined oh, but that they're concerned. definitely like kindred spirits. As far as the actual song goes, I like it. It's kind of a little jazzy. Like it. It's got it R&B. It's kind of smooth and sassy too. It is. Wait, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> On another note, this could be an alternate personality thing. This could be the dark side of her. This could be like it's not two actual people. Ayu could be the broken heart girl who is always quiet and then it's produced this alter ego who is dark and everything that she wishes she could like bring out into the open. It could be an alter ego could thing. Be. That would make sense. Like she's the broken heart parts are so she's tougher, she's sassier, she's darker. That's why she looks up to her and wishes she like like she's what's the word she's awed by her yeah. so it could either be like a girl crush thing where she's this sassy chick with a similar bad suit or it's an alter ego thing or it's, it's definitely something could be either. or something yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely think it's about romance. I think it's no, no, it's no, 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 by... look, look, she's uh, there's a kid. So, who's that? It's IU and a child. So, is that IU? So, is that but is Yang Tai? No, that doesn't make sense because she said it's maybe just looking woman. back at the memory that maybe they knew each other when they were young. Could but be. some of the lyrics kind of hint about it being a forbidden emotion. It could be about um, same-sex love and how society is still not okay with it in a lot of places. That's true. So it is like the forbidden emotion. It and it's be. something they see as like something they should shun away and hide. Maybe. but Because the, the title is, which means it's, to, it's somebody you don't want to talk about that like she's singing about. But it, there could also be a family member that you like, you know, the skeleton in the closet or the person that you have a toxic relationship with too. Like, or 
I could go back to the alter ego thing and maybe it's the part of her that is attracted to forbidden lovers like women is the part of her she named sh the part of herself she doesn't talk about the part could of be. herself that she hides. like be. it it's like there's so many ways you could translate this yeah ready yes it looks like mother and daughter her name is Less Shh. that looked like mother and daughter at the end oh, it's not finished. wait is she the ghost is the mom the okay. ghost and that's her child could be Yagi. Yeah, it's family thing. Mother daughter. So then it might be to do with a young woman having a child out of wedlock and then not being around. It might be about, you know, the forbidden children where they used to carry, well, they still do in some places. I think in Korea, they still carry quite a heavy, like being an unwed mother is still like not a very accepted thing. Mm. So it could be about, yeah, but it seems that IU was the mom and passed away when she was young. So this kid's carried the dark weight of being from a single mom and having no parents. And maybe I use like the ghost that follows her daughter's shadow and her. she's awed by how strong and she's become. That's yeah, could maybe that's actually by, a, that's a good about friend, about love. I think so. That's a good take. I agree. And I also think that like familial relationships are very loaded. Like sometimes you don't even know the history of your own mother or your grandmother or anything else or the hardships that they went through or the challenges that they had. And like, I think yeah, we carry with us, not just genes, but like our history as well. And sometimes we don't even realize it, you know, and you can see like, there's definitely like a reference to like a dark past in mm -hmm. some way. And like, I don't know what I use relationship is with her mother or her family but it'll be interesting because i think there'll be we've got a documentary next to watch on her but it'll be interesting to start looking at what her relationships are like and how that like translates into this mv so yeah right there seems to be a bit left on the end so we'll watch it just to be sure i haven't missed anything okay Oh, yeah, that's like back in time. Oh, maybe her mom was something like frowned upon. Oh, no, that's like a previous life, the book. Yeah. Had. Get it now. That's, and they get never like, confused. So. That's, the, that's the grandmother and the mother. No, but then. That was the daughter. Well, that was the two women. So maybe it is a soulmate thing. Maybe they're going through time, re-meeting through all their lives, and that's why there's a connection they don't understand. I need to watch you know that again. There's that belief that when you have past lives, like you go through, like it's the soul that falls in love. So it doesn't matter if you're men or women. Like that, there's a belief that that's why you should just accept people being gay as well, because it, it's not about the physical form. It's about the soul. Yeah. Have you ever heard that? Yeah, so it I've could be that. that in past, present life, whatever, they've been like they've loved one another through many lives and now she's in the form where it's a forbidden love. Could be. I think that's, however, I think it's a, I think personally it's a comment about the relationships we have with our mothers and that that last scene was the grandmother and the mother. But then that's not IU, which confused me. 
<laughs> Maybe we should play. Should we play it again now that we kind of started? I think this is one we need to play again and just sit and, and really look at. Let's look at the lyrics again because I like. I was so distracted by the MV, I wasn't getting all the lyrics either. So maybe let's try. It. Let's play it again. We've got time because this is like a, just the only clip we're reacting to. Okay. Wait. Right. Okay. I keep dropping my camera stuff. Okay, so yeah, yes, the daughter. Yeah. Yes, the daughter. So I use the mother. What can her love the same life? Maybe. Yes, that could be it. Understanding the mom's past. We live in her mom's past, and her mom is. Oh, thinking it's the mom there, that lyrics is like mothers when we feel powerless watching our kids walk their own journey and there's nothing we can do about it, nothing we can say, we can only stand back and watch them make the same mistakes we did. That's yes. kind of what those lyrics are. And she said, I'll follow in my mom's long footsteps. That could mean three things. That could be she's following, like making the same mistakes or she's following her out of like respect of like, following her like maybe I don't know like her belief system or maybe it's like just following like following her through life I don't know like long footsteps hints to me that see when you're following someone that you can see they're making mistakes and like they're doing things that you did that you've tried to warn them it feels like a really long endless journey yeah even if it's only a short time because you're in agony watching it and can't be doing anything about it so yeah. I think it's more that it's the sense of following someone and dragged out long footsteps just because it feels like that way okay what? So yeah, she's obviously, her name is, she's a step ahead of me. So she's obviously ashamed in some way of maybe her mom's past. But she was born at a wedlock. I think, no, because she named her. So she named her yeah. child because she's like a forbidden child because she had her at a wedlock. Because look at the era they're in. It's still oh, not yeah. okay. That's true. That's, it could be that. That's interesting. So she's like a a blackened child where they used to put it on the birth certificate that they were best. I don't know why I say the word. Yeah. So yeah, the era would make sense. And now she's living the same dark life. And maybe that's why at the start it said about hiding her mother, because she's obviously ashamed that she's a child that was like born out of sin. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, well. and, and she could also be hiding her mom due to like a difficult relationship with her as well. So well, judging by the way she's dressed for the era and the hints that they work and live on the street, I'm thinking yeah. their profession is in the certain industry. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, because you don't see the father there. And at this point, it doesn't seem like a loving stare back at her. I use looking very lovingly at her, but the, the one with the dark, like the dark clothes and that is looking very like upsetting. So it could be the complicated relationship between a mother and daughter when the yeah. mother carries the the burdens of the mother's sin. No, the daughter carries the burden of the mother's sins, especially in that yeah. era if she was born, like, not married. Yeah. And she said she's got eyes just like hers. I've got eyes just like hers or something. So, yeah, yeah definitely like mother or daughter. Mm. Right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
So the thing that they hid in the floor, because they've come back to that. It's that in the beginning of the video. It said they hid the mother away. So she's opening the hatch and looking down, and the little text was saying about hiding her away, hiding mm -hmm. her mother away again. So what is in the floor? Is it all the her ties to her mother, like her birth certificate, the photos and memories, just everything about her mother? She's hidden away. Yeah, like secret. in other words, yeah, hidden in a deep place. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you can see the regret that the IU has as the mother, like feeling regretful in about a lot of things. So Yeah, it's definitely a complicated relationship between a mother and daughter, which yeah. doesn't need a dark past to be complicated. It's yeah. Can be a very turbulent as a mother who has a teen daughter, I can tell you <laughs> turbulent at times. Especially when you're very alike. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> You stopped there. You were like very young. Ready? Special we are. Of the car. Maybe that's how she died. Because Ayu doesn't seem to be in the present. She stayed yeah. the same age. So she, that's why I think she's a ghost. Yeah, I think so. so whatever too. happened in her past. Like the usually like if somebody's put in the boot of a car, it's usually as you said, they're like being unalived and they're like being like just disappear or something. It's like definitely about unresolved issues as well and like possibly repeating the same cycle of life as your your previous generations have so yep ready yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's a definitely like <sighs> Yogi Nalgun Yagi Hanaichu Boduga Tahan Kuruna. It's, that's about coming to like stop, sorry pause for I think that's like she's forgiven her mother there yeah and to... yeah that's what I was thinking it's like forgiving the past and your mom and then like so you can move on in life kind of thing like and it, I guess like it could apply to any family member that you have it doesn't necessarily even though this envy is about a mom and a daughter it can apply to any kind of toxic issues you have with any family members like if it holds you back from success or from like moving forward to a positive future you know it's like basically I guess that like a commentary on that at this part of the video what I'm getting from it is that now that she's walked a similar path to her mom she's walked her footsteps lived her life she's come to an understanding of why her mother did or yeah. was the way she was I think that's where this forgiveness comes from that when they're in the car and she smelled at her it's like she has a new understanding of who her mom was because she's now in that situation she's now in that life and then yeah. the forgiveness comes which is really common between mothers and daughters yeah they, get to a certain age where they maybe just become mums themselves and they suddenly realize a lot of the things they hated their parent for or were angry at their parent for is something that they can now understand and forgive and that's kind of what I'm getting from that bit she's walked her mother's life so now she understands her 
I agree. And I think in the current generations at the moment, especially in places like Korea where your moms and your grandparents have gone through a lot through history. I mean, you've gone through wars and gone through uh, colonizations and gone through uh, hardship and poverty is trying to understand why maybe that that mother is the mother they are today because of all of that because you know like I think we in society put moms up on a pedestal as being like all powerful or wise but like in truth a mom is just a woman who's li lived her own life and she's trying her best to raise her kids the best way she can you know and I think yeah. either mothers are criticized or they're praised in society there's never a middle ground it's, mm. it's either you're a bad mother or you're a good mother and that same stigma does stigma isn't applied as much to dads or fathers or men it's very much like a patriarchal thing of like um you're either a bad mother or a good mother you know and it's understanding that no it's, there's like a gray like zone in between where you know th this woman has had history and then maybe she's a harsher mother or maybe she's failed in some ways because of who she was in the past or because of the baggage that she carries I think they kind of touch on that in the song when they're talking about women that have a tale to tell but their lips are silenced and being enigmas to yeah. other women. I think they kind of touch on that there. Exactly. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so was that okay? So I'm confused here because I haven't heard Ha Yoon sing. So I that looked, I don't know who that was. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was the same chick, but as the grandmother, I thought it was that Tang, but yeah, she's yeah. dressed differently as to portraying her own grandmother, which would make sense because she would look like her. Well, there, there was a, those were two separate women, so I don't know Ha Yoon from. Um, I don't know. Well, and, and like I was trying to pick up if I could hear her singing. Now I'm confused as to where she was in the MV. <laughs> I think that was her at the end as well. So maybe. maybe sitting in the car. That could have been. I her. think it was showing that IU's mother had the same life and IU walked the path of her mother's life too in that part, if that's what it was meant to be. Yeah, I think so. It's like that cycle that we were talking about. That was a hard one. We had to watch that twice to decipher that. That was a hard one. <laughs> it was. I heard it was a hard one from like people had suggested we watch it. But like, yeah, it, it like because we were like totally on different tangents in the beginning, and then we had to like swing around. We were like try to watch the lyrics and the MV and listen to the music. We list we missed a lot of really subtle details that we caught the second time. I think we're on the right path. Though. I think it is a mother and a daughter, yeah. and. Uh, the club that they're outside at the end, the Mobis Strip, kind of hints that they work in the industry that is not considered favourable, yeah. especially for that era, and that she probably was just a single mother who yeah. got pregnant from one of her regulars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's that stigma that society puts on women who are, you know, just trying to like... Single mothers. Apart. Even now, that is still a major thing. It is. In some places. And I'm sure Korea is one of the places where it is still a pretty, like, not celebrated thing. Single mothers still got a hard, like, time of it. Well, even back in the 1990s and the early 2000s for me in South Africa is like I had like schoolmates that got pregnant in school, like at 16, like one or two in my whole, like... A grade and they had that stigma attached as well you know of like it's just frowned upon it back in the day you know so I think these days it's a little easier but definitely even in the 1990s and that it was like uh you know the thing you know that everyone spoke about you know um which is really sad you know it was like uh like the horror of a teenage pregnancy which you know 
So I think like, yeah, it's. Uh, Girl in my class was 13. 13. She had a baby. That's yeah. crazy. That's, that's a lot for the body to take. So. It's quite common, actually. I know a lot of people who had kids under the age of 14 where I lived. Wow. It was like quite a pandemic. One of them actually should have been, you know how the youngest um, mother in the UK was like 12 or something. The girl, one of the girls that was in my high school, she wasn't in my class, was 12 too. So she wow. should have actually been registered as one of the youngest. She fell pregnant when she was 11. Oh. <sighs> Gosh. to her cousin and her parents had the same exact story her mom fell pregnant to her cousin when she was 11 too that's insane well that kind of stuff goes on in oh the islands. <laughs> insane. i know she was still in school though she still like came back to school and stuff but yeah she had a kid when she was like 12 wow that's crazy yeah, it's interesting. I like I like this MV. It was really good. It's an um, it's pretty I obvious. Use, uh, taboo topics to kind of touch on. Yeah, she's very um adventurous and very bold with her topics and her songs lately, touching on a lot of really meaningful stuff. But that's why we kind of like her, though. Yeah, exactly. She kind of reminds me of Sugar in some ways. I think like like she's she's not afraid to talk mm -hmm. about things that might be taboo which is really cool like this is a this is a like loved ones all and um like halsey and all that like have great messages but this is definitely a deeper song on the album that mm -hmm. it digs a little deeper into like society and stigmas and mothers and the stigma of being a mom and a daughter in the relationship so yeah i think it was like fascinating to to kind of get a glimpse into like i use what she prioritizes and what she looks at and i like that i like that because like we like musicians that do that you know that dig a little deeper so yeah we do. And this is a cool song it's like a pretty chill song yes i like it i like it even without the story in the mv like yeah we, just the lyrics and the actual musical arrangement i really like it i like that each song we've reacted to is very different to each every other song like it's got a little bit of a different genre she sings it a little differently she uses her voice differently um kind of reminds me of like because we react to young tech as well and he does the same thing like he can play up his voice when you have a voice that that is so flawless you can apply it to so many different genres and you're not like restrained or restricted by like a singing a certain way you can just experiment and play with it you know so. yep Okay, we should wrap this one up then because it's been going on for quite a while now we've watched it twice. Okay, so that was called, what was that called? Shh. Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> it's called Shh by IU and we liked it a lot. Are you going to add it to your playlist, Lou? I am definitely, like especially for working and doing my art and show playlist, I'll definitely be adding that. And I just want to add before, like, hey, and like, I apologize. I don't know you well. And like, I'm trying to figure out where she sits in the MV, if people could tell us, because um, I'm not sure if I didn't hear her voice in there, but like maybe she just guest starred in it. So yeah, I apologize. I'm going to get to know them a little bit more. <laughs> um, but yeah, if someone could tell us where she, she fe was featured in the the MV that would be good I think she was in the car at the end but yeah I think it possibly she kind of looks a little bit like the tang lassie that's why I couldn't tell because of the angle and the darkness and the shadows I was like is it different makeup is it different here is that a different chick yeah okay so. yeah so that was by IU and we will catch you in the next one bye <laughs> you did a good job Lini please don't hey then babe. So fluffy. What so is cute. actually wrong You're ready? with you? You're Dance such a freak. Dance dance. System failure. Lean, sudden, hey. Ew.